Now, the first thing that you want to do is get yourself the pen tool. You want to set the fill to nothing. Press OK. And then you want to set a stroke color of anything that you want it to be. So let's say if we wanted to go with a black color for the direction or the path, we can go ahead and create the custom path. So let's say we want it to fly from this area right here all the way to the top. Of course, if you want to, you can also customize this and make it curvy. If you want it to have like a nice little bit of a runway, go in the sky and then land right here. Now, once you're happy with your path, you can open this up. You want to open up the contents, shape, open up the stroke one. And in here, we can add the gaps in between by setting the dashes. We would left click on here. And we're going to set this to, let's say, 50 or around 120. We're going to also animate this path. So it goes from this one right here and it makes its way to the final destination. To do this, we have to scroll up, go to add, and you want to get yourself a trim paths. This one will allow you to open it up. We can set the end to zero. You want to get yourself a keyframe and go further out and then set this to 100. And if you have a look at this, it will nicely reveal this path. We can also change the speed by moving them closer together and we can also set this to an easy ease. This will just make the animation nice and smooth. So we're just going to make it a little bit quicker. And there we go. That looks really nice. Now we can also add additional things such as the destination point right here, just by dragging and dropping the icon. We're going to scale this down, let's say to 40%, and we're just going to move it to this location right here. We can also get ourselves a shape, and we can get ourselves a circle by making sure we are not selecting anything, holding shift, drag this out, and get yourself a circle. We're just going to set this one to a white color and a black stroke for the outside. Place it here, and there we go. We now have the destination and the dot. Now, of course, you can also animate this if you wanted to. So for example, this shape, you can make it appear first by pressing T, setting the first keyframe, and then setting this one to zero. So it will nicely fade in, and then the line will start to appear. Now, we also need to offset this line as well, just by slightly moving it forward and make this one appear first. We can also animate the destination as well. Same goes for this one. We want it to have 100% opacity once the dots have reached this area. So right about here, and there we go. Now, of course, in order to make the plane follow this line, we also want to get ourselves any image or cut out and drag it into the timeline. We're going to change the scale And then what you want to do now is you want to go down to your path. You want to open up path one, select the path and press control or command and C. You then want to go up to plane, press P and then select the position and press control or command and V. And this will copy the direction of this path. However, it will stay exactly fixed to how it was. So we also need to go up to layer, go down to transform, and then you want to auto orientate. You want to select orientate along path and then press OK. And as you can see, if we have a look at this now, the plane will follow this path. Of course, you can also animate this so the plane will first of all start off with 0% opacity and then it'll fade in, and then it'll fly to that destination. Another cool little trick that I like to do is I like to also change the scale of the plane. So once it reaches the destination, it will shrink to zero. 
So you can set the scale to zero and then 30 right here. And if you have a look at this, if we move it a little bit further back, it will just disappear. And there we go. Of course, if you want to, you can also offset the plane. So it only starts once the destination is visible, right about here. Or once the path has already gone a little bit further out to right about here, we can make it visible. And there we go. That's pretty much it.